Hello, my name is Chimwe Russell and um, I'm a Doncaster Bays artist and we are here today in my studio. I'm going to be doing a bit of work but most importantly I wanted to tell you about a new program that we are starting. This is sort of an introduction. Uh, uh, over the next few weeks, myself and, and a few of my um, group of artists, we are going to be presenting to you a very exciting program which is the Doncaster Art Movement Project. Uh, in this project we are going to be talking about the different art movements which has uh, marked our history or well, the history of the sector because at every point in time there's always been one art movement or the other um, which, uh, which defines the sector at that point in time. Uh, when I say art, I actually mean visual arts, and by visual arts, it means you know paintings, illustrations, photography, uh, drawings, ceramics, sculpture, uh, digital art, digital arts these days. Um, so that is what we are going to be uh, talking to you about. This project is actually sponsored by Doncaster Council uh, in South Yorkshire. Uh, and, and the people we are talking to are uh, people in Doncaster and beyond. Um, uh, so this project is made for everyone. Uh, you're probably asking <laughs> why should I care about art? Well, you should care about art because art is all around us. You might think it's not for me, but humans, you know, as as uh, the beings that we are, uh, we are a piece of art uh, in ourselves. Uh, nature has uh, nature is the ultimate artist, and nature has made us at uh, marvelous pieces of uh, art. So art is all around us. Art is there when you cook your delicious uh, dinner uh, at home in your kitchen. You add this ingredient and that ingredient. Sometimes you experiment uh, with different levels of ingredients to um, achieve different effects. So that's art. It's not just uh, me painting like that. Um, so why should we care about art? It's really very important to, share, uh, to care about art because it is a way to, uh, to document history. Uh, and by that I mean um, the artists who paint or who create work are sort of documenting history in a way. Uh, it could be a piece of building, a building which they've seen somewhere and they paint it. So that shows us what the architecture was like at that point in time. So it could be a person that met on the street and they paint, they, they paint it. It could show us what people look like at the time. Um, so it's not just uh, art. It's you know as something you hang on the wall, but it's also uh, a piece of life history. So you can imagine 100 years from now, uh, when people look at some of these pieces, they could get a, a bit of an idea of what was happening at the time. Now, a very important reason why we should care about art is because it inspires young people. Young people these days are very creative. They want to do stuff. You know, they want to they want to do this. They want to achieve a lot of stuff. So, uh, so a lot of a lot of young people have. Um, engage in creative activities because um, that is the way they want to go. Children are constantly doing one piece of art or the other because uh, our soul needs it, uh, our brain needs to be creative, we are constantly creating and innovating. So art is quite important in that respect. Um, art is, is uh, you know, I describe it as food for the soul. Sometimes when my my brain is quite chaotic. I like to come down to my studio uh, and create something. You know, it's like a birthing. You're giving birth to something, an image which was not there, probably somewhere tucked away in your imagination, uh, and you give birth to it. So that's and sort of that process uh, calms the turbulence of your mind, takes the stress away. 
uh, which is why art is used a lot um, as a response to, to mental health. Actually, we have a call for artists now for a uh, mental health exhibition, in case you're interested. Uh, a lot of people who have mental health, um, art is used as a, a therapy uh, for them because uh, what it does, it brings all the different fragments of your mind which are scattered in different different places, brings them all together uh, into a form of centering uh, which calms you down. So that is why, uh, in my opinion anyway, uh, that is why you use that a lot uh, in mental, as a response to mental health. Now, art is also a very good source of investment. You can imagine today in the art sector a lot of uh, um, work of some famous artists, they go for millions and millions of uh, pounds all over the world. So a piece of art you buy today might make you a fortune in the future. Um, another really important thing is uh, innovation and design. It always starts with the art. You know? You have an idea, you illustrate that on canvas or on paper, the designer builds it and it becomes a product. But the starting point is always the art. So art is very important. It's not just a nice picture you look at of a wall. So who should enjoy, enjoy art? Everybody really should engage in art and should enjoy art. I have been curating uh, art fairs in Doncaster for two years. I've done about seven, seven uh, art, art shows, uh, a, few, a few exhibitions. And some of the people that I come across, some people are afraid to talk about art or to uh, approach artists or to engage in the art because they the, the response I always get is, oh, I don't really know what to talk about. I don't, I don't know enough about it. I don't know anything. So a lot of people feel quite intimidated to talk about art. So the, the, this project is really going to help you um, to we sort of break it down for you. There's nothing to be afraid of. Uh, you can interpret art any way you want. There are no rules to art interpretation. There are no rules for you enjoying art. It is meant for everyone. Is, is art for me? You ask. Yes, it's for you. Why not? So what we want to do is reach everyone uh, so that they... Uh, because in, 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 in the past, art has been something quite elitist, you know, it's supposed to be reserved to, you know, re reserved for the rich and, and mighty, but no, art is for everyone uh, because everyone has has the right to enjoy it. So during this series, we're going to be talking about different art movements uh, and uh, each art movement will be, pro, uh, will, be uh, will, will be talked about by a different artist. I will be doing some of them myself. Uh, what the artist is going to do is tell you uh, about the movement, uh, some famous people uh, who are part of the movement, uh, a, few, a few examples uh, of artwork so that you know uh, how to recognise that art movement. Uh, some of the art movements we're going to be talking about are things like Impressionism, uh, Cubism, uh, you have Fauvism, you have Digital Art, which... Uh, seems to be the rage these days. Uh, we're going to be talking about folk art and primitive art. We're going to be talking about modern art. Uh, we're going to be talking about surrealism. We're going to be talking about so much more, different forms of art, different styles, abstract, um, portraiture, photography. The reason why we're doing that is so that you understand um, all the different forms so that next time we have an event in Doncaster art related we want you to come 
because you would have watched these videos there will probably be about 20 of them possibly uh, possibly more and you understand and you will feel confident to come to to come to our, our art shows um, so what I'd like you to do now is to share this video uh, it is sponsored by Doncaster Council and is meant for you uh, as the artists produce the videos I'm going to be uploading them uh, on, on our website on social media uh, by email and on, 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 on all different formats so that you will know what we're doing here the different art forms in Doncaster uh, and and uh, the idea is not for you to become an expert you can become an expert obviously if you want but the idea is for you to know a little bit of everything uh, to give you an all-round picture of the sector so that you can confidently uh, buy a piece of art uh, start an art collection because that's quite important starting art collections talk to people about art um, become you know quite knowledgeable and also engage uh, with the artists themselves and who knows you could become a future artist so thank you for watching uh, subscribe to this video if you can uh, because it will help us a lot um, and uh, and, and um, see you soon